All right, the final video in this series, we're going to be looking at my eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I have gone through these semi recently, so I don't think there'll be many we're getting rid of, but we can just, we'll still go through them. So the first palette I have over here is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'll be keeping it, but I would like to see Pan in it by the end of the year. It's a pretty old palette in my collection. The next palette is the Protégé palette. Um, looks like this. I got it in a boxy charm. I've never used it. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it and use it at least once. If I don't like it, I will pass it on to a friend or family member. This is the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. Um, I don't think I've used this that often, though this is a hard palette to find, and I am a bit of a collector of makeup. So I'm not going to get rid of it, but it's not going to stay in my full collection. It's going to stay in my collector's box, which is makeup products that are hard to get a hold of, that I have had, um, that I don't want to get rid of, but I also don't want in my collection. Next, I've got the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette. I really do like this palette, so I am going to hang on to it. Uh, next, I've got the Kat Von D Alchemy palette. Um, I'm going to hang on to it for now, but I would like to see Pan in it by the end of the year. And then I've got the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. I'm going to pass this along. I can't see myself using these colors, and I don't know if I've used it more than once since getting it. This is the Tarte Sizzle Palette. I only picked this up this month. I got it in a BoxyCharm, so I am going to hang on to it because I have not yet had a chance to use it. This is the Tarte Color Wheel Blush Palette. You can't get this anymore. I think this was from like 2016 or something. So it is quite old, um, but I will be hanging on to it because I do legitimate, legitimately still use these shades. Um, so this is a major home of all my blushes. Uh, next, I've got the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be passing this along. I don't think I've ever used it, and um, I find, well, I think I used it once and I found it didn't perform that well on me, so I am going to be passing this along or possibly selling it because it was quite expensive to get. And then I've got the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. looks like this and I'll be keeping this palette I really like it next I've got the Jeffree Star alien palette which I'll be keeping I only picked this up recently and I do really like it uh, now I've got the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyeshadow Palette. I will be passing this along. Uh, every time I've used these shadows, my eyes have ended up hurting, so I don't want to keep using it, and therefore it doesn't need to be in my collection. Next, I've got the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs Palette. I love this palette. I'll be keeping it. Same with the... BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette, the original. I love this palette. I love these shades, and I will be keeping it. All right, on to this stack. I've got the Urban Decay Troublemaker Palette. Um, I'm not going to keep this. I haven't used it in years, or several months. I don't remember. 
uh, Urban Decay Electric palette. I'll be keeping. It's got a lot of unique colors to my collection, and while I don't use it often, it is a staple in my collection and has been for a few years. Then I've got the Urban Decay Naked palette. I bought this when it was on sale for when it was being discontinued, and to be honest, I don't like it. I'm going to see if my mom would because she likes these type of shades. I've got the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. I really like this palette. I'll be keeping it. Same with the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. I really like these shades and I'll be keeping this palette. Next, I've got the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. This is a palette I really like. I'll be keeping it. Um, I've got the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette, which, again, I really like, so I will be keeping. And then on to my ABH palettes, I have Sultry, Norvina, Soft Glam, Prism, Subculture, and Modern Renaissance. I will be keeping all of these palettes because I love these. These are my favorite eyeshadow palettes. 